thanks everyone for watching this video. So before we get started with what's coming in 10.1, I wanna just cover a little bit about XP as a platform. So when we talk about XP, you know, we really talk about it in terms of delivering world-class personalization at scale. And Sitecore XP combines customer data, analytics, and marketing automation capabilities to nurture customers throughout their journey with personalized content in real time and across any channel. So when we look at XP, it really does provide a full suite of functionality for our customers, everything from industry leading content management with XM at the core of the experience platform to XDB being able to collect that actionable customer data, you know, how they're interacting, where they're engaging, where there's opportunities to improve the experience, the ability to personalize, right? Using the rule set editor, behavioral pattern personalization for real time tailoring of sites, as well as of course, Sitecore AI now. We're able to nurture customers with both EXM and marketing automation functionality. Of course, the option to deliver across omni-channel, right? Leveraging couples or headless delivery, integrating with other systems, of course, our partnerships with Salesforce and Microsoft, um, but other business critical systems as well. Flexible delivery options, really allowing our customers to deploy their Sitecore solutions how they see fit, right? Whether it's on-prem, managed cloud, self-managed cloud. And then of course, extensibility, really being able to complement their marketing technology stack with some of the solutions provided through the TAP program. So let's take a look at what's new with XP. So some of the things that are coming new with 10.1, which will be launching at the end of February, um, tried to bucket these into some core areas. So the first being reduced cost of ownership. So some updates being made to the product, uh, such as improved cold start time and XDB data purging tool. And of course the introduction of a next.js SDK. These are all introducing ways that customers can lower their cost of ownership of the Sitecore solution. The next is editing efficiency. So we've made significant improvements in the way that um, Horizon works and also the way that SXA and Horizon are integrated. So this is broadening the application and use cases for Horizon, really streamlining the editing experience and creating efficiencies for marketers as they're looking to evolve um, the experiences that already exist or add to them. Then more accessible real-time personalization so kind of two features here, of course, we have Sitecore AI auto personalization standard, which we're introducing, uh, have some more information on that in a couple of slides, and then rules-based content profiling, which is allowing marketers to more efficiently tag content for behavioral profiling and that real-time personalization, um, allowing marketers to align behavioral, behavioral profiling for personalization with page taxonomy and content tags and really, really streamlining that process. And then lastly, um, simplifying and accelerating Sitecore implementations. So again, that Next.js SDK provides flexible delivery models ranging from static site generation to server-side rendering and hybrid approaches approaches, um, all providing features that can simplify implementations that use JSS. So some additional key product updates here. We have Sitecore AI auto personalization standard, again, launching with 10.1. This was the announcement that we made at Sitecore Symposium. That's our out of the box SaaS AI solution to accelerate time to market for personalization. And then Sitecore Experience Edge for XM, which is going to be separated from the 10.1 launch. This will be launching sometime in April and we'll fill you in on when that date gets set, um, being able to provide that highly scalable delivery of content for continued delivery optionality for our customers. This is just a look at the Sitecore AI feature comparison. So with our announcement at Symposium of the availability of Sitecore AI auto personalization standard, that's for customers up to 12 million visits a year. That is included with 10.1 um, and backwards compatible to 10.0. Um, so you can see kind of the comparison of features here. Of course, we still have that paid option for auto personalization premium for customers that go over 12 million visits. Um, and just please note at the bottom, you know, with XP 10.1, this releases the non-container version of Sitecore AI auto personalization standard. And there is an option to, to test Sitecore AI standard under 10.1 for containers if customers are interested in testing that version. 
another announcement that we made at Psych Horse Symposium was around kind of this edge delivery. And we've talked about it in terms of content as a service for Content Hub. And now we have Psych Horse Experience Edge for XM, which is allowing customers um, leveraging XM to publish content to a global distributed delivery platform to empower highly scalable headless solutions while not compromising any of the content management functionality. So still being able to have control um, over the presentation, giving marketers you know, the ability to still leverage that functionality, um, but really trying to remove the burden of content deployment, infrastructure setup, and scaling. So again, just in terms of some of the benefits of Experience Edge for XM, of course, really being able to focus on that maintaining control. So business users, users excuse me, still able to leverage Horizon, the Experience Editor, um, you know, that WYSIWYG editing, dragging and dropping, leveraging SXA, um, but really trying to reduce the burden of content deployment, as mentioned on the previous slide, uh, but still maintaining the benefits of XM in terms of multi-site, multilingual content management, and really just trying to provide that flexibility of choice for front-end implementation. Then one additional thing here um, in terms of just some updates coming with 10.1, we announced this in the release notes of 10.0 that this was coming, um, but the support for Azure Search and Azure App Services will be completely removed in the Sitecore XP 10.2 release. Um, so while customers who are purchasing or moving to 10.1 can still use Azure Search and App Services in XP today, um, and it will be supported, of course, according to our product support timelines, future changes will be required when a customer decides to upgrade to a later version uh, where these services have, have been completely removed. So thanks again, everyone, for watching this video. Hopefully you got some good information about the new features that are coming or available with Sitecore XP 10.1. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on Twitter, LinkedIn, and definitely head over to Sitecore.com to read up a little bit more on what's new and if you're interested to go ahead and request a demo.